Hello all, I am Nemal Sri from Hyderabad and I am part of the court team of Legal Legal Law Forum and today's topic is 10 important laws that everyone should know. So let's start the video. A famous American judge John Roberts once said that you cannot fight for your rights if you don't know what exactly they are because they not only equip us a sense of security but also they empower us. Indian constitution has provided several rights to the people to protect their fundamental rights but unfortunately most people are not aware of it. So I am going to tell the 10 important laws that everyone should know. First one is According to Motor Vehicle Act 1988, Section 185,202, it states that at the time of driving, if your 100 ml of uh, blood is containing 30 mg of alcohol, then the police can arrest you without a warrant. This law also see, states that if the traffic police officer snatches the key from the car, from the car or motorcycle, it is illegal. You can uh, you, you have the full right to launch a legal proceeding against the officer. Again, uh, according to section 129, according to section 129 of Indian Motor Vehicle Act, uh, it states that wearing the helmet is a must for two-wheeler. Uh, say, uh, and according to section 128 of the Motor Vehicle Act, limits the maximum two riders of the bikes. Criminal Procedure Act Section 46 states that no women cannot be arrested before 6 a.m. and after 6 p.m. This is permitted only in unavoidable situa situations that too if the judge permits. And uh, similarly, women should not be summoned uh, so summoned to police station for interrogation or any inquiry. The, instead, the police in charge has to go to her residence. And fourth one is Indian Penal Code 166A, which states that a po police officer cannot refuse to lodge an FIR for a cognizable offence if he or she does so, so they can be jailed for uh, jailed for up to six months to one year. It depends. Fourth one is right to equal pay for equal work. According to the Equal Remuneration Act 1976, it states that it provides for equal pay for both both men and women for the equal work done by them. Any unfairness will ever the victim to take chance to take chance to recourse the court under this act. And fifth one is that if a young boy and a young girl who is uh, above 18 years of age wants to live together in a live-in relationship, they can do so because it's not illegal. And a newborn uh, from this relationship is also legal. And this newborn have the right, full rights on assets of his or her father. According to Police Act 1861, a police officer is always on duty whether he or she is not in uniform or not. If a person makes a complaint to the uh, to the officer, he or she could not say that he cannot uh, help the victim just because he is not in duty. Seventh one is Maternity Benefit Act 1961. According to this act, no company can fire a pregnant woman. Uh, it may be punishable by a maximum of three years of imprisonment. If the company, government of uh, government or private, um, containing more than ten employees, and the pregnant woman employee is uh, completely eligible to get eighty-four days of maternity paid leave. Eighth one is that every grown-up has men and women has the right to marry and have a family if they want to. And men and women have the right to marry and have a family. You know what? And uh, they have they have the same rights when they are married and also when they are separated. According to Consumer Protection Act 1986, uh, a consumer is en entitled to receive the full amount he, he has paid in the event that he is not e not able to utilize the services he had paid for. In fact, printing of no exchange and no refund is completely illegal and an unfair trade practice. And last but not the least is that right of parents to be maintained by their son. Most of us are not aware of this law. According to this act, Parents have been given right to be maintained by their son under under the section 125 of CRPC. Parents who are in need of financial support uh, can approach uh, can approach courts under this section with sufficient proofs that their son or sons are capable of supporting them, but they are neglecting to do so. Parents claiming that uh, uh, parents claiming that their son is, ca is capable of supporting them uh, and approaching courts is not loss of dignity. It's your right. So now as you got to know the basic laws, now if you see any person violating the law, please immediately complain to the police because it's your right that innocence cannot be harmed or punished. Thank you. And don't forget to follow us on social media platforms and please 